Hello, post-COVID-19 goggle or the wear. Dr. Alex here. So today we have a little tutorial for how to make custom loops or goggles shields to prevent against aerosols or splatter. So I was having a really big issue with all of our new PPE requirements, specifically with the face shield. First of all, I couldn't see anything. Um, with the loops and the face shield, the glares, and it was uncomfortable. I was, was kind of miserable chair side. Uh, two, I started thinking and wondering just how effective face shields are. Um, if the source of the aerosol is coming from beneath us, right, the patient, the handpiece, um, the face shield doesn't create a seal. And actually, like, they usually like, taper outward. So how many aerosols are coming up underneath and really not the face shield's not really doing a whole lot, but kind of getting in the way. So I set out for a way that we could make a custom shield for our loops to block, fill in that space between the loops and our cheek. Um, so I have my Oroscoptic XV1s here, and you guys will see that what I did is I created a framework using triad or custom tray material to fill in the space between the bottom of the loops and my cheek. So, let me just run you through how to make this happen. You'll be able to knock it out in an hour or so. So, I'll take these generic goggles here. Um, what I recommend doing is creating this framework. You just take a little bit of triad material, roll it up, and adapt it to the bottom of the frame. Cure it in place, right? This is going to give you a scaffold to build off of. Then I just take sheets and kind of pop on the goggles with the N95 mask, take sheets, cut them out, adapt them, get, get them, get them close. Right? I did this very, very quickly just to give you guys an idea, but you can really smooth out these edges. We're all used to making custom trays, right? Making them nice and smooth. Same thing, it's the same material. So just adapt it, pop them on. Remember, do this with your N95. Pop it in place kind of lay it flat down where you need it to go, close your eyes, and cure. You'll have to give it a couple of cycles for it to cure all the way, because we're not sticking it in a triad machine, but it still works, and it cures and it sets super rigid, super light. If you can work the material into some of the undercuts that are naturally built into your loops, it'll give you some more mechanical retention. I'll tell you, for me, it's been an absolute game changer. Um, I feel more protected than when I was wearing the face shield. And now, at least visually, I'm back to where I was pre-COVID. You know, I just pop my loops on and I'm ready to go. And my personal protocol for disinfecting the loops in between every aerosolizing procedure is the use of hypochlorous acid. Uh, I highly recommend that you guys uh, look at, into what hypochlorous acid can do. It's a, it's a great decontaminant, uh, it's safe to use, non-toxic, and uh, you'll be sure that you're using clean loops every time you see a patient. So check it out, um, give it a couple hours on a Sunday afternoon and it's gonna change your Monday morning. All right, see you around.